Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I am going to do, be doing some swatch tests on these foiled colors for Makeup Geek. So I couldn't even put, there were so many of them, I couldn't even put them all in my hands. Um, so Makeup Geek is one of my favorites and they never ever disappoint. So we're going to do um, kind of a, a foiled collection look, not look, swatch test so you can see what the foil collection is um so we have uh the bundle of the foiled lipsticks i'm sorry lip glosses um they're 15 dollars a piece there's so many there's just so many they're 15 dollars a piece and if you get the bundle you save 26 percent and they're 110 dollars so there's 10 shades in the foil look so we're gonna to do a swatch test on those and then um, as far as the pigment bundle for your eyes these are 12 dollars each and um, if you buy them in a bundle you'll save 34 percent and that's 95 dollars so there's 12 shades here so let me um you know kind of give you a background i am a makeup geek geek and so i try to get all of their products and i will say that i have been testing these and i love them not just because i'm a makeup geek geek but um, i've been using several of these throughout some of my videos that i think i've already released if not they'll be coming um, what i like about these is when i first hear lip gloss i think oh great um the they won't stay on they'll rub off actually these can make it almost a full work day without touching up so for me that is awesome the piece that i really liked in this collection is the word foiled because i really like a foil glossy or shiny kind of look so let's get started doing some swatches so i'm going to take off what i have here and we're just going to swatch away um, the first color, and I love her names, they're just absolutely adorable. So the first color we're going to try on is called Mixtape. So Mixtape is a very vampy kind of purpley color. Um, it, they just really glide on. They're not sticky. So I do like the fact that they're not sticky. They're just absolutely creamy. So let's try another color. Similar to Mixtape, where we got a purpley color and this one is called Backstage. So this color is backstage, very similar to Mixtape as far as how dark it is. However, Mixtape is a little bit more plum and uh, backstage is a lot more purple and that's what this looks like. I look like I should be going to a concert with backstage. The next foiled color I'm going to use is called Acoustic and not quite a ruby color. Um, so it's a bit brownish um, with a little bit of a red undertone and again a very nice dark color. And these are so creamy but for me I will probably go with these darker colors when it is more fall and not spring but they still are fun. I love how they shine and pick up light. Um, to me they're just absolutely beautiful. Staying in the dark kind of colors we have drumroll. This is another purple. Drumroll is a bit more um, on the lilac side, not as dark as the first three that I put on. Um, but again, it just has some pretty, pretty colors um, that pick up with the foil look. We're going to get into a kind of pinkish look, maybe. Well, yeah, I guess it's a bit pink, orangey pink.
This color is called Replay. Next, we're going to use a little bit more of a magenta color, and this color is called Groovy. Do I look like a groupie? Probably way too old. All right, next we're going to get into the um, a little bit more of the neutral colors, and these are probably the ones that I've been picking up more. Um, this color here is called Headliner. And I love me some headliner. So this is a little bit of like almost a dark coppery color. Um, again, the foiled bits in these glosses are just absolutely stunning. I just love, love these foiled collection. Then we're gonna try the color vinyl. Vinyl is a very cool tone, kind of, it looks a little bit grayish taupe. Mm -hmm. With a different color eyeshadow, that could actually be a lot of fun. This one I've been wore quite a bit. It's called Set List. So Set List is a nice rosy kind of, maybe rose gold type color. It's a pretty neutral, um, and again, that, that foiled look, they just look wet and lovely, and um, actually I've mixed a couple of these and, and did kind of an ombre look, and they're just so soft. Love, love, love this collection. And now we're gonna get down to the last one, and I use this one a lot. So the last one in this collection is called VIP, and it's a really soft, kind of peachy color. A very pretty nude. Um, again, it captures light. It just is absolutely stunning. So that completes the 10 foil lip looks from this collection. So I hope you enjoyed that piece. Now let's go to part two, and that is the foiled eye colors. So the foiled eye colors come in these little pots, and um, we're going to swatch these. This color here is called Supernatural. What I love about her newer pots is they have like a little protective piece so that when you open them up, they don't go everywhere on you. So that is quite a nice change compared to some of the earlier pots. So this color Supernatural goes on really nice and very shimmery. Shimmery, but not glittery. Um, it, it has, well, I guess it is the foiled collection. It is a foiled look. Goodness gracious. All right, so the next swatch is called Inner. And I have wore these um, quite a bit with some eye looks. And I will say you don't really need to use like a um, Fix It Plus or a glitter type um, glue. These just go on really well and they last throughout the day. That's the one thing that I like a lot. So now we're going to get into a purpley look or a purpley color. And I'm going in no particular order. But this one here is called Enchanted. And look how stunning. These colors are just absolutely beautiful. They actually sit on my makeup desk so I can pull them at any given moment. The next color we're going to try is called Gargoyle. And we'll put that one right here since that's kind of a brown. And look at how pretty. That does not look like a gargoyle. Love the name, but it doesn't match the color. The color is way prettier than a gargoyle. Okay, now we're gonna get into Voodoo, which is a green. I wish I would have done a look with this one during um, either Mardi Gras or St. Patrick's Day. So you can see that nice 
grass green color there and it just picks up some beautiful light. I don't know what the formula is on these foiled because again you're not it's you pick up the different light and it changes the color but without glitter which is phenomenal. Okay this next color here is called firefly so we're gonna pick up a little firefly and we'll put that in between the green and the purple. Look at that one. Where has that been my life? My goodness, stunning. Here's another fun one I think you ladies will love. It's called Hocus Pocus. So we're gonna take some Hocus Pocus and we'll put it right next to the gargoyle. And that's just a nice rosy color. I didn't get much on my finger, which it just shows how beautiful that will transfer without hardly any um, you don't have to use a lot of product, and I find that amazing. This one is perfect for the name, and I can't wait to figure out how to use this color here. It's called Atlantis, and look how beautiful that is. That almost looks like a, an ice princess or a um, mermaid type look. That's just absolutely gorgeous. And we're down to our final three. So we will pick up a little bit of Illusion, which Illusion is um, a, like a pinkish color. And we'll put that next to our blue. That's a nice light color. So what I liked about this grouping is that um, as far as the foil shadows go, they were kind of all over. We had some light and then we had some dark which I really like in the shadow. So then our last one that we are going to pick up right now is called Telepathic. And this one I'm absolutely in lust with. Yes, I said in lust. And we'll put that kind of, try to go in the middle. Well, oh, there's not enough room there. All right, I'm running out of room. We'll go in the middle anyways. Look at this. Wow, I may just have to, we just need another spot for it. Um, maybe we'll go along the side here. Look at how beautiful that is. Absolutely stunning. So these are the color swatches from the foil collection uh, for the eyes. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hands down. I would say I would probably, I'm going to look forward to using almost all of the foiled shadows because I think I can do something with all of those. The foiled lips for me are a little bit harder because I am so pale that most of the colors are very, very dark, as you saw. Um, it, but I did like a lot of the lighter foiled lip colors. So I'll probably use, actually I, I've already used a lot of the lighter ones. Um, I just haven't found the right setting for some of the real dark ones, but it's not to say that I won't create a look. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video with the foiled collection from Makeup Geek. I always enjoy whenever she puts out new products. I'm usually like first on them um, to purchase them because I'm always afraid that she's gonna sell out and then I'll miss out on her goodness. But if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have the choice to make it a beautiful day. Until next time.